Hello people, doing something a little bit different today, doing my usual weekly shop at Lidl's but I'm going to a different one today in Portchester, it's about three miles down the road so it involves a little train journey which I'm just about to start, so see you in a minute. Southwestern Railway service to Southampton Central. Calling at Fort Now on Porchester Station, that's about three, three and a half miles down the road from Cosson where I live. It's a long time since I've been, about two and a half years since I've been to this station. Last time I came to this area was when I used to work in Porchester, which is just over two years ago. Slightly different view around here, you probably, that's Ports Downhill in the distance. The chalk pits. In the distance there, I'll zoom up. Right in the distance there in the middle of the screen, that's Porchester Castle, Roman Castle. That's the main sort of keep part of it there. Built about a thousand or so years ago. Oh, that was a key that was built about a thousand years ago. The rest of it was two thousand years ago. Keep keep part was rebuilt, I think it's about ten or eleven hundred. But the rest of it you can't actually see there was built well back in the Roman times. Uh, quite a historic area.
very old station. It's probably one of the older ones on the network, built about in the 1870s, 1860s, 1870s. I'm actually up on the bridge over the line now, which gives you a good view, good view all around us. Let's look in the east back towards Cossum and Portsmouth. Hi. Let's look in the south, there's Portchester Castle in the distance. Let's look in over towards that Gosport area. Let's look in let's look in west towards Fairham beyond. Just coming along, walking along towards Port Chister now. I'll tell you, quite a small well, it's, they call it a village, but it's like a, it's a small town now. It's got a lot bigger over the last few years, but years ago it was only quite a little. Before they built all like the main road system, that was quite a little, little rural sort of area. So the last time I come, well, the last time I visited Portchester actually was over two and a half years ago. So I, when I used to work near, I'll show you where I used to work in a minute before I go to Lidl's. Right, this is coming up towards. Well, they're, they're re actually rebuilding the road junction here, re realigning the junction. Well, look, there's, there's the new Lidl's over there in the distance. Well, I'll just stop here while I cross. Right. Over there, that factory over there, SMR, that's where I used to work up to a couple of years ago. I left in, uh, I left in uh, December 15. family reasons. That's one of the factories I used to work in. There's, an, there's another one, they've got two factories, there's another one further down the road around the corner, about a couple of hundred yards down there. That's where I used to work. Used to make, well they still do, make uh, rear view mirrors for cars and vans, door mirrors, rear view mirrors, that type of thing for automotives like Land Rover, Nissan, Toyota, that sort of thing, Ford, all big companies, but on a bad job, but I was starting to get a little bit fed up of it, and I had to leave for family reasons. So that's the last time I actually worked is when I worked there, so. Over this side, been a lot, lot of redevelopment over here in the last couple of years, a lot of old bit factories knocked down, warehouses demolished. And over here, it's a new Lidl, it's massive, it looks about twice the size of the usual one I go to at Hillsy. It's a massive great building. And that's it, the new Liggles at Portchester. I'm going to do a separate video inside to see you on part two.